There was a sepulturero, you know what a sepulturero is, the cemetery caretaker, and uh, he saw a man standing at a fresh grave. And he was laughing and laughing, and the cemetery caretaker was wondering because it was a strange sight because normally people would come to cemeteries to cry and to grieve and not to laugh and to rejoice. And so the sepulturero, the caretaker, went to the man and said, Hey, I see that you're so happy and you're laughing and I'm surprised because normally in my years of taking care of the cemetery, people would come to cry and to grieve. And here you are laughing and triumphant and it seems you are celebrating. The man said, You are right. I am laughing and I want to laugh some more because I am so happy because the guy buried here is my twin kaluha. <gasps> the sepulturero was surprised. Nalipay na noon ka nga imo ng kaluha dapat maghilak ka kay you know twins are supposed to be close. He said, let me explain my sweet revenge. When he was alive, we were so identical. Uh, before he was buried, we were so identical. And people would mistake, would always mistake us one for the other. One time, he raped a girl, and I was the one mistakenly put to prison for almost 10 years. Who would not be angry at this arrangement? Yesterday, I had my sweet revenge. The caretaker said, why did you kill him? No, nope, I did not. I died, he was buried. <laughs> he thought that the big mistake, nga siya namatay, nga ang gilubong ang iyang kaluwa, he thought that that was sweet revenge. But if we are to be philosophical about it, tanawa, kinsay nakaganan siya. Ang gilubong kay mo ay naka-rest in peace. Siya, pagkita kahibaw how he will die. Pagkita kahibaw o unsay qualities ang kinabuhi. Philosophically, it was not sweet revenge because the guy buried there and eventually died, he had all to gain. My dear friends, that is revenge. Refusal to forgive, we think that we gain. But in the end, we are the losers.